All right, welcome back to this playthrough of Skyrim. It looks like the cultists have arrived at <laughs> Riverwood. Man, they are so difficult. Um, in this episode, I was thinking of doing Ustengrav, but before that, I I came here. What did I? Uh, yeah, to, that's right. Return the golden cloth to Lucan. Yeah, I'm Dragonborn. But these cultists, like, I think they appear at level 10 or something like that. Where's the other one? Oh, the, the other one's over there. But they are so hard for uh, for being a level 10 enemy. It's kind of ridiculous. And she just spawned a bloody astronaut, didn't she? <laughs> I gotta be careful not to hit the guard. And the astronaut is pretty bad as well because it just it does damage uh, by you just being near it. It's pretty ridiculous. And I can't foos or anything, otherwise I will hit the guard. Maybe, can I disarm her of the staff, you reckon? Mm, doesn't look like it could. Unless I missed. Like the bite of a flea. <laughs> I don't want to get one combo all of a sudden. That would be pretty bad. Ooh, don't foos yet. Oh, I pressed the foos but Oh, she fully healed. Well, that's fantastic, isn't it? Again, though, these guys, like... How are you supposed to defeat them on Legendary? What the hell? What level? I mean, I guess I'm level 13. Maybe uh, they have another, like, upgrade in damage at level 12. So if you fight them at level 10, they should be a little easier. I'm not sure. Whoops. Is he out? I think he's out. He's not out. There we go. Absolute destroy. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> look at the damn cart. What is that? Atronach is dead. I'm so afraid of like, I can't really foos because I'm afraid of hitting the guards. Was he the last one though? Mm -hmm. Alright, we can also sell the, the cultist stuff to... No, he wasn't the last one. To Lucan. Hopefully he's staying safe inside the Riverwood Trader. You can't win this. Can't even see him. Or her. Whoa. Come on, guard. Take it easy, man. Don't get in my way. Ah, you finish her off then. Cultist orders. That's what you need to read. I don't know if there's a way to, like, avoid that. Maybe if you don't have the Dragonborn DLC installed. But doesn't that just come automatically with the Special Edition? Um, for you basically not to fight them. There are some benefits, though, of doing it, uh, or doing the Dragonborn DLC. Uh, yeah, an ornament. You mean this call? You, Damn I'm straight. Put this back where it belongs. I'll... All right, let's get head through the carriage and go to Ustengrav, or Morthal. Um, I believe I've done the first stage of the Book of Love, have I? Or is that just fake lore? Return to Dinyabal, yes. I've done the first stage of that. Uh, oh yeah, because I got the... Did I also get High Rothgar? Yeah, that's how I got Ustengrav. God damn, I'm just all over the place. Um, so the next stage is to return to Dinya Balu. But I can do that later. I, I'm not going to need Defense of uh, Magic ride? right now. Where do you want to go? Uh, Morthal. Climbing back and we'll be off. Okie dokie. Let's go there then. Bjorlim. Hopefully no... Yeah, dragons have started spawning. Hopefully no dragons attack Morthal. All right, here we go. Um, I hope I hope everything's working. Like my recording equipment just shut off. the The AV receiver just turned itself off, and it shut down everything else. God damn! I hate when that happens. Luckily, luckily, it wasn't in uh, in the middle of a fight or anything like that. It was literally just when I was taking the carriage. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous, man. I hate technical difficulties. It's so goddamn annoying. So, so annoying. I have a bunch of markers here. Let's see which one I want. Um, Jürgen Windcaller? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do Ustengrav. I'm not doing the Dragonborn DLC yet. Alright. Butterflies, those can be pretty good. Hopefully, 
Horses are so slow. Are you kidding me? Uh, maybe be be quicker to just like when I get respite, just run on foot. I don't know. Definitely feels quicker because you're actually running, you know. Oh right, the mud crab. I forgot about that. How do you mean to park the horse? I didn't want to. I want to park the horse uh, a little bit away from the bandits coming up. But I forgot about this camouflage demon here. The, the horse doesn't even care. It's like, nah, fam, you deal with it. <laughs> you parked me in the wrong place. You didn't pay the parking ticket. Now you're paying for it. Uh, let's um, let's say because this fight can be tough sometimes. Oak Flesher. They have like a what a frost mage. Let's get this arm. Two handers are really dangerous. Son of a what? Let's see if we can bottleneck him. Look at him. Good thing he missed. OMG. I think that if the mage like gets me down low enough, the oh my horse is helping out. The mage gets me down low enough, then uh, my horse. I mean, they will be able to one bomb me. You're a novice, all right. Don't go up the stairs, stay here. <clears throat> Oops, I thought I had fools, but it works out. There we go, they should all die. Um, rest in a bed, I guess I could do that. I'm not going to feed on her though. Nor me, no, you can keep that. Not gonna bother looting the enemies. Uh, resist fire. All of that can be useful. I'll feed one. I'm inside. Uh, let's see. Quick save so that it doesn't glitch the game. Or just in case it does happen. Alright. This part coming up can be pretty tough as well. There are a few mages here too. Uh, let's remove the yeah i think they can summon this guy so let's remove his weapon boom boom put it over here on this dragoor hopefully they don't summon the dragger <laughs> uh as long as i maybe don't like push them all the way back here i can sell that stuff i suppose who are you fighting frost or lightning novice conjure okay let's try and get him quickly go 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 nice She's an apprentice, alright. Like the bite of a goddamn flea. I know, I know, I know. I've heard it all before. Um, okay, so she has her kitchen knife out. I kind of want her to use that though, you know. Don't, don't do that. Man, she's so powerful. And she has a bowman supporting her from the back there. I could use the Mace of Mo like Bal for uh, draining her magicka. Come on, come on. Nice. Does that archer die on his own or is that fake lore? Yeah, the archer died. Because it was most likely one of their summons. Or her summon. But I kind of... Okay, good. Another petty soldier. I kind of want to save the mace. Save the mace of Molag Val for... Um, For when I get a little bit more soul gems, so I can trap the draggers. So yeah, at this level, it looks like the enemies have started to become apprentices. Appre apprentice size. One of the two. <laughs> oh, she just healed so much. Damn. Look at her, this stat bag. Why are you changing to me? I'm not the one destroying your health bar. Get away from me, man. Yeah, he's gonna turn his aggro to me, of course. Alright, alright. Um... When we stop with all the mage BS, I may, I cannot even conceive of the power he wields. Uh, I may switch to Oak Flesh a little bit. Nice. Oops. I mean, so yeah, okay, it works. Does it though? No, because now he's going to use flames. No, it doesn't. I'd rather use Fus. Tell me. Tell me. I <laughs> he's, he's out of mana. Out of ammo. Reload. 
いやー What does he give me the kill camas if he's the last enemy man? Guess he's the last enemy in the room Uh, I don't think the draggers will be this difficult, so I'm not gonna use the silver sword just so that I can potentially do a little bit more damage against them. Yeah. All right, but he, but here's here's the problem. All right. Uh, there's three. However, it's fine. We can do this. Who's who's low on health? I need to know. I need po postcards and emails, DMs. You know what I mean? Don't, 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 don't hit me from behind. You mud. Maybe I can use um, Apprentice Alteration here soon. I'll, I'll see how much it uh, takes after I'm done with this. Oh, boy. Fuss, fuss, fuss. He's low, he's low. Come on. Oh, my good God. I just don't know if Apprentice Alteration is going to be Apprentice uh, Restoration. What am I saying? It's going to be beneficial mana-wise. Mana yeah. Come and show me what you've got. It's a trick. I tricked you. So now my mana regenerates really quickly. I'm gonna spend this time to try and heal. I'll save these mages. Can I bring you over here? So I don't forget about you. I guess not. You're special, eh? I need to feed before because I think those are the last humanoids. Before I continue. That's a book of restoration. So there we go, it's 36. Surely that's gotta be like... Good enough to... Um, be able to use Apprentice. It's just that uh, I don't currently have dual casting. I have regeneration. Or stamina potion. But I don't have dual casting, so... You know, it takes a while to be like doing this the whole time. And I also tend to use one hand so that I can keep my weapon and... Not be in this menu so long. Um... Right, so let's see. Alteration is soon a 30. Let's just put the point into Apprentice. Uh, it halves the, the mana consumption for fast healing, so it's 29. This is 4. What do I have less award? I'm not fighting any Dragoons. Uh, let's put it as number 1. Unfavorite. And we'll see how much mana it takes. It's a decent amount. Well, it's 29, isn't it? And I have what? How much mana do I have? 120? You know what I'm going to do? Do I still have the hood? I'm going to put on this hood right there. Yeah. The, um, the absence of the steel helmet is probably not going to be enough to, like, really make a big difference. Yeah, pirouettes. Don't do that. Yeah, Tren Susal. Dude, I really need Frost Defense. I could use the Helm of Ingo. Against Draugr's, it can be really useful. Nice, just get this guy out of the picture. I gotta level up in case this guy gets frisky. You need to get frisky with me, bro? Don't get frisky with me. <laughs> let's level up. He's getting uh, he's getting frisky. Um, That's more health. I'll do it probably until I, with the Ring on Amira, can get around 280 points of health or something. Did I feed? I didn't feed. Let's do that after this guy. Yeah. Rah. Skadoosh. Swords can be pretty decent because they have a better recovery. A quicker recovery. When you attack, you can put up your shield quicker. So in that sense, they can be more def uh, defensive than uh, maces or axes, but... Ooh, I forgot to save. That could have been bad <laughs> if it glitched the game. I kind of like, okay, so my build is a little bit all over the place because the things that I'm wearing um, have enchantment, enchantments to them. But you know, in a way, it's kind of it's kind of all right. This plate armor definitely suits the paladin look. And when I put on a hood, it also does that. Get out of here. Give me my potion of lock picking. All right, who's who's next? Uh, who's ready to die today? Boom, boom, sure. 
Bleak Falls. Oh, that's right. Wait, I'm level 14, but I just leveled up. I think Giant Frostbite Spider starts spawning at level 14, and there's one coming up. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a Giant Frostbite one or a regular one. Should I mind that Orvane? It's kind of che tedious to do that. <laughs> I think he's dead. There, there's no time for waiting. We need to do this ASAP, ASAP. Can we get a few levels in restoration or what? Yeah. Okay, the drug were activated, so my mana is probably not regenerating quicker. Oak Flesh, I said I was going to use that, didn't I? Do you have a soul gem on you? Can't they sometimes have that? I don't tend to loot dragors too much because usually they have a, their weapon, a few bit of gold, and bone meal, and I'm not really interested in, in you know, I guess looting that much. If the loot isn't gonna be, it doesn't have a high guarantee of being useful. Hit me, come on, I, I need the heavy armor training. I'm not even gonna block. Actually, I need, I need the block training too. Probably more important because if you get 50, whoo! Then those pesky mages cease to be pesky, don't they? Foos. Foos. Yeah. You can't foos right after a power attack. That's cheating. Dude, I'm so powerful. Don't chase me down with that spell. Come on. I can hear your footsteps. Don't think I can't. Foos. Oh, he still hit me. Do you have anything? Bone meal. Alright. I believe there are two regular draggers coming up. There we go. Boom, boom. Leather armor, berserker, petty soul gem. Maybe we could drop them. Let's do that. Since, you know, it's a pretty controlled fight. No, but here's what I'm going to do. I, I want to save the mace's charge as long as possible. So let's use Vilk as a sword. As a matter of fact, let's use the silver sword because it does the more damage. Don't you run away from me, Harry Potter. And then, yeah, bam, bam, bam. Oh my god, you made me waste my charge. Get over here. <laughs> Why are you running away, all of you? Oh no, he died. All right. That kind of sucks. Uh, there are more coming up though, so it's fine. But I think this part here is kind of tough because there are some skeletons that do a metric ton of damage with their damn bows. And there's a lot of them. I can like hear them crickling. There's one right there. Foos. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hit this. Yeah, okay. Wow, that, that did a lot of damage to that guy. Filled petty soul gem. Perfect. One and then one. You get one, you get one. There we go. Hopefully I'm not messing it up here. I, I have eight petty, okay. Most of these, all these guys will be petty most likely. So let's do left, right, seven, left, right. Oh, don't block it. Who do you think you are, huh? Special? What about that, six or six or five left? Probably five. Did I do the chest? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Yeah, I did. Uh, there's a restless below. He should fit perfectly into a lesser. No biggie. Now that these guys are dead, I can come up here and use Whirlwind Sprint. We can actually favor the Whirlwind Sprint because... I have one Dragon Shout. Yeah, but I'm going to use it on, on Become Ethereal. Now I can wait like that. Because there are no enemies nearby. This guy's guarding a treasure. Get out of here. Lesser as well. Dwarven arrows. Okay. The next guy coming up isn't too, too difficult. Maybe I just use the silver sword for like speed's sake. So that I don't have to unequip the mace. Here is become Ethereum. A great shout. Great shout. One of the best in the game. Top three or four for me. It's just so unique in the fact that, you know, sometimes it's really beneficial to just become ethereal and not be able to be touched by anybody. I know that your left hand is weaker, but whatever. Or like slower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you attack me. And right. 
Nice. And I pick up another Leicester, dude. That's that's been pretty good. My Leicester pickup. Take that opportunity to heal. Now there's not gonna be any enemies for a while. Corundum or I do have a pickaxe. I might as well might as well do that. Uh boom. Corundum Corundum can be useful. Although I don't know, upgrading my armor is uh, is good, but it's just it's only good when you when you have uh, when you uh, how do I explain that um, when you get a big big upgrade. If I upgrade from iron to steel, then the difference is not that much, or even from steel to steel plate or from iron to dwarven. This armor is 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 pretty good because it has um, it's it's okay. It increases my heavy arm by fifteen points. Is that what it said? So it's both, you know, a decent heavy armor in the quality-wise, which is Dwarven, and then it's also increasing my heavy armor by 15. So it's um, it's going to be the best thing I can use right now. There are some more ore veins that you, you could potentially have to hardcore parkour, like over there, but it's okay. Um, let's see, more like Bal and this thing. One hit on the Skellingtons, right? Yeah. Boom. Warren Sprint is equipped. Now is the moment of truth here soon. See if we... Uh, if that spider... It's a big one or whatnot. There are some smaller spiders up there. Hopefully they don't come after me. Um, what should we use against this one? Vilkas' sword. I mean, this, this bugger could potentially just one bomb me. Not to be... Not gonna lie. If it's the big one, the, the really big one. Can you once come over here? Is that cool by you? Boost. You don't want to use Wolverine Sprint, that'd be pretty bad. Let's use Oak Flesh. Yeah, 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 I got it. Come on. Come on, I don't want to. I don't want to head over there, please. Do me a solid. Being poisoned, we're okay. Let's pick up these uh, Frostbite Venom, maybe they can come in handy. Oh my god. Wait, have the other ones... Yeah, the other ones came. That doesn't always happen. See, I've mentioned this before. I'm taking damage. You can't give me the goddamn kill cam when I'm in a... Oh my god. Uh, like that. Can we wait? Yeah, let's wait. That's kind of annoying. But you know what I'm gonna do? Let's strategically do that. Can I place you... Come here. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Where is the pressure plate? In case I have to retreat so that I can use it against the spider. Let's use the frostbite venom. Does that work? No. I guess. Yeah, sort of. Okay, good. There we go. Um, so it's already like being activated. So oak flesh. Quick save. <laughs> and let's try. If it's a big one. Mm, is it the giant? No, it's a frostbite. Okay. It's... Yeah, so they do spawn at 14, but it's most likely because I entered the dungeon before I was 14. Oh, it does some decent damage though. Don't do the power of poison. Who's... Oh, I missed. I come up it. Okay. That's enough of that. Damn it, Greg. That's why you quick save. Okay, this time we're using a racial ability. I don't even care. Um... There we go. Oh, right, right, right. I don't have an unending force. Oh, that was close. That was shield, yeah, good. Oh my god. <laughs> that was insane. If that had been a big one, there's no way. There is no way. Because um, I believe she could have killed me with uh, two or three hits, normal hits. 
And definitely with the jumping attack, that would have been a one bomb. Alright. I definitely think that I've uh, reached a level of difficulty, like a peak of difficulty. Um, Dwarven Mace, is that going to be useful? Ring of Sneaking, cool. I'm not sneaking though, but... Uh, let's see, 29 and 16. Obviously the Mace of Molagbal is better, but if I want to use... Because I need to return Vilkas' sword at some point, don't I? The other Mace can be good for... Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to pick it up. Whatever. Uh, the Mason more like Ball loses his charge really, really quickly, so. Eventually, it's gonna turn into my primary weapon, you know. W without charges. <laughs> right, I think the only thing that's left now is to go make my way through the dungeon. And. And go back to the... Well, to Riverwood, right? Because it's Delphin that has the horn. I'll see you when I'm there. Hello, Alvo. I believe they do. Um, the His stuff had respawned. What is going on here? I gave you to Feindal. Walk around with him. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the ingots had respawned outside of Alvor's thing. Can I get the attic room? You're that attic yeah, the attic room. Give me the horn. Thank you. We need to speak. Let's go. Orgnar. Hold on the goddamn bar. Who do you think you are, Orgnar? Delphine, get in here. Everyone. Get in here. And jump. Blum. Uh, yeah, right. Ingredients. I'm not really doing alchemy, but you can pick that stuff up. This is the equivalent of Vilkas' sword in terms of damage, so I guess I don't have to worry about that. Let's see if there's anything I can disenchant right quick. Uh, 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 block, sneak, no. What's up, Delphine? The gray beard seem to think you're the yeah. Surprise. Yeah. You can't be too careful. Uh, it was the only. I am not. Go on. Like I said, I'm part of a. If you really are Dragonborn, that is. I don't know which one moves up the dialogue every time. Can you do it? Okay. Good. And you'll have a chance to. There we go. It. Dragons are. They weren't. Now something's happening to bring them back. I, and I figured we're going to go there. Uh, the fight that happens in Kynes Grove is There's insane. A, I need to get insane. I don't know why I'm... Last time I did it with Lydia, didn't I? Oh my god. Because Esbern and Delphine like to lollygag a bunch in that fight. And they don't really stick around you. And the dragon definitely is so annoying. Oh, and you also have an orcish sword if you have a great sword if you are a two-handed warrior. Let's go finish off with the Greybeards. Uh, that's pretty boring, all the Greybeard part, but hey. Can we... It's, it's daytime. Let's see if we can sell uh, some stuff to Lucan. At this point, you know, the episode is pretty much over, so hey. Hey! What's going on here? Feynda is just staring at her longingly. <laughs> some may call this junk. Me, uh, call boom, boom, boom. Staff of Sparks. Oh, I have the Amdur of Senator. Could make better use out of my... But whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't, I'm don't. i not too nitpicky with that stuff. Dami Greg has sold the helmet. You know what? I'm, I don't care. I don't I don't care. Venom, destruction. Okay, he doesn't have any more. I need time. these. I'm, I'm, I'm your friend, okay? Let's take it easy. Right. Uh, gray beards. Yep. Ah. Here is the horn. Retrieve the horn of so now they teach me what da as well as like they speak to me. I think that's what happens. Get in position. Positions. Come on, Master Bori or Aina or Wolfgar. Bump. Da. Push. With all three words together, mm -hmm. this shout is much. Use it wisely. Thank you, Master Wolfgar. 
<laughs> looks like he's smiling a bit there. No, he's not. He's not. Oh, there we go. Now it's just to stand in the middle here. Uh, when this episode end, uh, ends, I'm probably going to do the second stage of the Book of Love. Um, yeah. I don't, like, that quest is really boring. I don't really want to do it on camera. You have passed all the trials. Boom. Alright, there we go. That was it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.